Hi, my name is Mike, and today I'm going to be replacing the battery on an Insonic ESQ-1. As you can see, when you turn the power on, it gives a warning that the battery needs to be replaced. Okay, the first thing we want to do is flip the keyboard over and remove these four screws that hold part of the keyboard. Now that we have those four removed, we can flip it back over and remove the rest of one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll hang this over the edge so we can remove them from the bottom. Now that the keys are all loose, we can take out these four Allens. Once those four screws are loose, pops up a little bit and you can pop one side up and then the other side or resistance and that folds open. Now I'm going to just clip these couple zip ties holding the wires and unplug these wires from their connectors. little tab in here you may need to pull back to get the connector out easier. Once we got all those wires disconnected we can lay those back and now we can remove all the screws holding this metal, metal cover in. And then this metal shield can come out. And here is the battery that we're replacing. Now that the key assembly is free we can lift it up and slide it past these two tabs. Slide it back. Once you get it back a little bit, you can unplug this second ribbon wire, which is the keyboard. Get that unplugged. Now we can take and remove the entire key assembly. Next, I'll disconnect this other ribbon cable. And now, temporarily close it again so we can remove all of the nuts holding the quarter inch jacks. And now we can remove all of the small screws holding the main board in. Now the board should be free. We've got all the screws out. Looks like it is. So here's the main board removed from the keyboard and we are replacing this battery. It looks like someone had already done this and did not have the right battery and soldered legs onto the Stercel battery. So I'm going to be replacing it with the correct battery for this keyboard. Flip the main board over, and our battery contacts are right here and right here. I'm going to use some solder wick to remove the old solder. Just draws into the wick as I heat it up. Now I'm going to place the new battery into the board. You just want to make sure the positive lead lines up to the positive side on the board and negative to negative. Make sure the tabs go through the board. And now I will flip it over and solder it into place. And there we go. The battery is nice and secure.
Okay, battery replacement is complete. And we'll turn it on and see if we get the same error message. And it no longer says the battery error message. So we are complete and all working. And that is how to replace the battery on an Insonic ESQ-1 digital wave synthesizer.